All right, and welcome back to another class, art students. And then uh, today we're going to take a picture from my Action Pose Positions 360 book. Uh, I want to do something for the beginners because if you're a beginner and you have a character or if you're just trying to do the anatomy, most times I, f I find that doing the simple poses are like the best and easiest, especially for beginners. So I want to take uh, just a simple pose out of here, which is from my turnaround, and we're going to do this particular pose right here, but we're going to put a little twist to it to make it even better. Now this book, if, you if you're new to the channel and you haven't seen if you're new to the channel, you haven't seen this book. This is one of the drawing books that I have done. I think I've done four so far. And this is a 360 because it is a book that takes a position and it turns it around for you to be able to draw it from different angles. Now, in the beginning, it is the, it's just it's a bunch of poses that you turn around. And in the middle, these are some of the lessons that I have done that if you see the picture and you might want to try to draw it, you can go on my channel and all of these are lessons to show you. These are the finished products from the lessons so you can actually watch and draw along as well. If you're having problems drawing, you know, the pose, I show you how to draw it. Yes, I show you how to, <laughs> how to draw so you can draw as well as watch and learn at the same time. My mouse just dropped so that just it just took my mind off what I was doing. So that's what we're going to use from, from this particular book. So as I said, I'm going to put a little twist to it, try to make it easier. Some of these lessons that I do teach, I have taught before, but I always try to put a twist on it. And when I do another lesson that might be similar, I always put more information and make it a little easier for you guys. So let's go with that particular pose. And this is going to be your standing pose, just your standing pose for and have enough body for you guys to put your a costume on or a face on or whatever it is that you might be trying to do for your character now it's not going to be a lot of muscle it will be but it's not meant for the beginners to try to put every muscle on there it is just a habit of mine to put muscles on there but the thing is is for you to get the form down right first and once you start to develop the form right then the rest comes pretty much easily so we're going to put a little angle on this guy as I look for a pen, something that's going to write dark, not too dark. So everything starts with a shape. As, as I said, from the first video to my last video, it's going to start up with a shape. Master your shapes, you'll be able to draw anything. So what we're going to do here is if you draw something straight up, let's just say a rectangle, it's going to look like this, just straight up like that. Now when you turn it, you're going to see a little bit of the side like this so you see that so we're going to do that with the character except we're going to lean his shoulder down this is going to stay flat this is going to lean down like that and so we're going to put the body in there so the body's going to be like that and that's kind of almost like you're looking up at it give you that looking up at it versus being straight forward you're on the same plane the same level as as your your character Especially if it's a superhero, you want a superhero to be larger than life. So you want to look up at him. And that's just by dipping that side <clears throat> of the shoulder. So the feet are going to be planted firmly on the ground. So that's going to be straight across. So if you have the ground here, your feet are going to be there. Now if you want to do something like this, that gives you a totally different angle for your character to stand. And it's all done with, with squares, with squares, because if you, if the bottom of your feet come out here and your head is on top of here, basically that's all it is and your body fits in between. So that gives you that different kind of stand versus that stand where his feet are right there at straight on across from you. So when I start to teach, I start to speak quickly, which is why I have a dry throat constantly. I have a dry throat. A lot of people are like, what's wrong with his voice? That's just my voice. I always have a dry throat. That's just me. And so because of that, I'm going to catch a drink of water. All right. Did I say catch a drink of water? Get a drink of water. All right. So now I'm going to switch to my red pencil. And hopefully you guys can see this. 
I'm pulling back here, so maybe I need to pull my camera back just a little because we draw on one spot. Okay, so hopefully this line is not too bright. So what we're going to do is we're going to first thing we're going to do is get the shoulder direction. And remember, I'm going to tilt it down like that. It's not straight up. It's not straight down. Let me do this yellow piece of paper because the last video I, I did, it focused a lot better when it the camera can see some color versus the black and white. Because there was one video I did, it was just so bleached out, it was ridiculous. And I want to change lights and see. Okay, camera. What that looks like. It's not too shabby. All right, so, and remember the bottom is flat. So I'm gonna have this guy pretty tall. You gotta have a tall hero. So that's gonna be the ground he stands on. So you wanna get your center line we get your center line and it comes down and so as I say everything is a shape so what I want to do here is I want to put that oval in there like that and that's my center line and since this oval is round this line is going to be round as well then drop straight down so here's my oval Hopefully you can see that because this, this camera just does it loves to play tricks with the light. So it's gonna be round and go straight down from here, wherever this is. So you might say, oh, you've got so many lines. Let's use let's do this. Let's do this. Let's say that one is the line that I'm gonna use. So from the front, go straight down just a bit. Not from the back, but so this, you remember, this is going to be his hip. This is going to be his waist. So you want to say, okay, somewhere right about in here is going to be his waist. And then let me just cut it off. Not too, too, uh, not too long down because your waist is not that long. So from here, the center line is going down. You're going to have that point. You're going to, this is going to be the bottom of the crotch. So you want to come out a little bit out a little bit and this is where you're drawing your upside down house right here at the bottom so you're going to have more over here than you do over there because it's not centered but that point has to be on that center line now you can go straight down from here if you want to i usually just bring my hips out just a little bit so here is and i'm going to adjust this too because this is going down just a little too much. So I'm going to adjust that right there. So from here, let me come on, let's put a head on the guy because I usually determine that the head determines the size of your shoulders. If I need to make the shoulders bigger or not. I haven't put the neck there. The neck is going to go right in this little center. Right at this, where the line comes up, that's going to be the point of my neck. So it's going to come down and hit the shoulder and then go to that point let me darken it so you can see this it's going to come down right along the side of the face hit this circle right here and come down to that point this is going to be your center of your collarbone and then go back up and then there again so let's do this now two things you can do you can have the legs out like that Let's see, make that a little darker so you can see it. You have the legs out, like that, one leg out, one leg out, like that. It's kind of a dramatic um, stand. And, or you can have it's one reason I don't like to start out doing dark with the red pencil because it is it is hard to erase and the darker pencils that you can see leave smudges so but I'm gonna go with this I'm just gonna try to draw a little lighter hopefully you can see it so you can have that where the legs are spread apart or you can have the one leg coming straight down like that put a little curve to it and then the other one come out just a little bit so you're balancing on this leg here 
So this is because the muscle you have muscles in the legs are going to curve around. Just don't make it straight down. Curve around. And then the other one is going to be out here. Since you're leaning, since it's leaning this way, you're going to be balancing on that leg. That's another way you can have it. Or now this state, this has well, it doesn't have to stay. You can bring them in, but you have to work on that balance. What's I gonna do? I was gonna do the third one and just jump right out of my head. You can bring this one in a little bit more. You can have this one come in like he's just you know standing, you know, um, just like almost like at attention. But it's best to leave this one out because this is where your weight is going to be on that back leg. Just by bringing that back leg in a little closer, then you have a different stand altogether than having it out more. That depends on, you know, what type of hero you have. You know, this is more like a to me, this would be more like somebody with a, a suit, like a detective kind of with a nice little suit on, and maybe he's got a gun in his hand. He stands like that. The spread out one would be more of your Batman type, you know, with the cape or something, you know, for, for balance. The one where the leg was a little out and then out, I think that could be for any and everybody else. So the one thing that you notice is I had what was about four different position, standing positions. And never touch any part up here so once you get the torso and the waist locked in then your positions you could do a hundred different positions without having to change that so my next video after this should be on uh, breaking down each body part because I want to do start doing some 360 drawings or show you how to do take any position you draw and then turn it around you know differently by knowing what um what your body parts are shaped like i always say that the body's like a puzzle are you going to be all like that to me huh the body's like a puzzle once you know where the pieces go it's easy to put it together okay so let's do let's do this one where the, the leg comes out just a little bit it's not going to be in, it's not going to be in like this, like that one. So you're going to have this, you're going to have one, it's going to be more out a little bit. Oh, still, you messed up my example. And this one's going to be out kind of like that versus, you know, straight out like this or in and out or in and in. That's a pet peeve of mine when you put your pencil down and it rolls in front of you like a little roach trying to get your attention so we're gonna have this here and then this here not too much stand and the legs are the same as the arms I think I just put that one up I just put it up today which won't be today for you when you see this where I showed you how to do three shapes to draw the arm circle um, oval and then the triangle that's an arm so if you chop it off right here where the wrist would be at if you put a, wrist, a wristwatch on this is where you're gonna chop it off and that's gonna be your hand right here so you take this triangle and you bring it in like that and you curve this around and you see you have an arm very 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 simple I try to show you guys the simplest way to draw and it's all with shapes comes in and there's your chest and there's a, and then you have an arm it's very very simple to do so the legs are the same thing except you move your circle over oh I, I still need this so the legs are the same thing so you will have this part right here except it's going to be a fat cone are you going to use cones on this one circle and then triangle for your legs that's it. Just this, this, almost. This is a, almost a triangle that you cut off at the where your knee is going to go. Your knee is a circle, and this is going to be a triangle. 
or a cone. I kept saying that once you round it off, it becomes a cone. Once I do this and put that point, it becomes a cone. But if I say triangle, I mean cone. So yeah, you have this. And then at the bottom, you have a half a triangle like this. If this was a whole triangle, it would look like that. But it's a half a triangle. It looks like, get your pencils together. It looks like that. And this one's not going to be a long video. But when I start really teaching, I get like long. So then if I did this, curve this around, because your muscle's right here. It goes in. Here's my knee. Comes around the knee, goes out for your calf, and goes in. And the only thing you have to worry about is getting the shape right. So there's your leg, and it's half a triangle here, down, out, square that off. There's your foot. So your upside down house would go here. There you go. Or um, what do you call that? Home plate. It's just shapes, just shapes, 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 shapes. Study your shapes. If you can't draw your shapes properly, then your characters or your anatomy won't come out properly. Okay, so we're going to do the arms again. So we have this line here. We have some shoulder up here. Let me get my pencil so you can see this. We have some shoulder up here and up here. And it's going to follow that curve around that you already have lifted up a little bit. So one shoulder is going to be lower than the other. And that's just that ball that now depending on what you want to do with your arm you can have your arm straight down you can have him out you can have him on his on his hips that depends on you sometimes i don't look at the monitor that's the only way i can see that it's blurred i have to, my monitors right on the side of me stop playing camera do right you can have the arm back, you can have him holding a sword, whatever, as I say, and you still haven't touched this, you haven't moved this in order to create your character. So I'm just gonna give him an arm, nice little arm oval. Put one arm out. And put this one down. Which is which is just your um, triangle, but I put a little curve to it, like that. And it's a hard thing for me is to do, figure out what kind of position I want. Uh, unless I'm drawing comics and I know what position I need, like he gets thrown through a window or he's uh, running or he's falling. That I can see in my head, but just to make something up, position up on the fly is just kind of hard. So we're going to do me oval, me oval. I'm going to do the oval again. And okay, so we're going to, I'm just going to put the triangle down i was going to bend it up but simple simple is always best so it's like that so this one is going to be lower because this shoulder is higher so this is going to be lower than that one that hand is going to be lower than that one so if i put my wristband or wristwatch on them this is where my hand goes and this is where my hand goes here, there. So one thing that I, I kind of discovered for myself is was the hardest part it was to do, la, 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 to do the torso. And I did something, I call it the beetle, and it never fails. If you master this, you'd be able to draw a torso any which way. So let me chop this down a little bit, take some of this off. So basically the torso, doing the torso is an oval. Uh, cross center line and you're doing a cross and it comes off of the body that cross is going to come off of this oval halfway down but from here or should I say halfway down this oval another line that's the bottom of your chest do the letter U just barely below this here from this point and this point where this circle touches this right here, go straight up to where this line touches that line. So you go if it's if it's straightforward, if you're looking at the character straightforward, just go straight up from that line to that line. Now this is where your chest is going to curve at this point. So right here, you're going to have the two circles 
for your arms, which is this, which is this. I know it blurred. How long will you blur it on me? And why do you blur on me? I, one day, I'm going to get a good camera. I said I was going to get a good light. I got a good light. One day, I'm going to get a professional camera that won't keep blurring. I don't know what it is with this. It really messes up a production. So again, you have the other circle, and these are your delts right here, your delts, your delts, your, your um, oval hooks to that, and your triangle hooks to that. But if you have this, it curves up and it goes under here. Your delts curve up and they go into your chest. So the chest is going to come along here, curve up at this point, and go into the delt, which forms a delt, and it's going to be your bicep right there. So if I ink this with a thicker ink pencil, you can see what I just did. It would look, yeah, I have an ink pen in my hand, but I don't want to use that one. It would look like, oh, and the shoulders. Now, before I do that, what you have left over are these two lumps here. So your neck, point of your neck is going to go here and here to the top of this circle. And then at the top of that circle, it's going to go straight up. And usually when I put draw a head, I put my chin right at this point where that circle comes. And that usually works out. So now you have this round neck. Take this and then you kind of do a triangle basically to the end where this circle touches this line here. Where this circle touches this line you want to make your shoulders. So you can just do one big triangle or just give it a little shape to it, just a little bit of curve to it. So if I did everything in ink, it would look like this. And then it's going to be my chest here. Curve around like that. Here's my other shoulder. This is my collarbone here. This is my, and I usually do a little V right there. And then bring that around. This is my latch right there. So this is going to come down. This comes down. It almost comes down to like a triangle. It gets narrower. So then you're going to put your waist somewhere here. That might be a little too thick for waist. So I'm bringing it in like that. And then, of course, the rest of your arm. So when you have this beetle, as I call it, then you're good to go. And however you turn that, if you follow these lines, you'll always get that chest right. You'll always get that upper part right. How long is this? 23 minutes. Let's see if I can just get this to a 30 minute and then call it quits. So we have that. So the chest is not going to go straight across because he's leaning like that. It's going to go the same way, just like that. So we have this. We have this is the this is going to represent that. T that cross because you already have that so halfway down you want to make the chest on that same line and then you're going to have that U or if it's hard for you to do a U just do a V don't take it way out here so and don't take it past his waist because so his waist is right here and here you want to give it take it close but not all the way close because then you have to bring it down remember it's going to go down and in not straight down and in because you have this, your love handles, your obliques, is what it's called, that come, when once this comes around, then it rubs up against these obliques that you need. And that is your, your waist. I get those two mixed up, waist and hips, waist and hips. So then later, now I could, you can round it off to make it more of a U shape. So again, at this point where it touches that circle, and where this touches this circle, curve it. Because remember, this is a, a this is an oval and it is round, so you want to curve that. So you're going to come here, and then your chest is going to curve at that point. It's going to curve, touch it right there, and it curve. Now I'm going to not have the chest flat. I'm going to curve it in here, and curve it in here, and it's going to come out more because you have that thick ballooned chest. So it's going to come off of there, like that which means this line is going to be way below it. So what I just did here is here's my chest. 
this one is going to come out going to curve and my rib cage is going to be right here so this is that little space you're going to have right there to give the chest more of a, a powerful powerful look And let's move this over a little bit more because it is not in centered. And this actually, the muscle goes all the way down into the crotch. And this is actually would be considered, the legs actually come up here and curve around. This little piece right here that you see would be the buttocks, would be considered the buttocks. But usually we're wearing pants or they put some kind of shorts, or superhero shorts on it, so you really never see it. And in toys, they always have the little ball right here, so you they just make this straight, your straight hip. So it comes out, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring that leg out a little bit more. Uh, let's work on these arms. So I'm going to bring this in more. Remember this comes here. Well, the chest, the, this is actually, it actually goes into the body because you're turning to the side, it'll actually go in to this oval a little bit. So let me bring this in some more. Same way with this. It goes, you'll see that chest, and you can actually leave just a little bit of space right between there for the delt. So what am I doing now? Okay, I said we're not gonna really get into muscle, muscle. So we're gonna have this arm, this part of the arm. We have the little V right here because it separates the arm. And I wasn't gonna be drawn with a pencil, but it seems that you are. We have this, You sometimes you have it, oh, some delt right behind that, this oval right here. And your elbows here, which you don't, you won't really see the elbow. So it will look like. How do I have it? Okay, you have this delt. Well, let me draw the shapes: circle, oval, and triangle. That's your arm. So here's my delt here. It goes down into my chest. This is my lats. So my the oval is going to be the bicep right there. So you have this extra room back here and your tricep will come back and it goes in. And then it comes into the elbow and at this circle, there's a little dip in your arm. It's, you can draw a little V here, a little dark V and it splits, the muscle splits right here. So you can put this one here and then this here and it goes down into your hand like that. So this is gonna be your delt and your delts are shaped like this. So you have that little indentation right here between your chest and your arm. And remember that collarbone sits on top of that delt, goes to the center, goes up. Your neck is right here, here, and then your shoulder is there. <clears throat> and I'm glad the camera didn't blur on me. Now the one thing about me, when I draw slow, I draw stiff. But I wanna draw slow because this is a, a lesson a lesson learned so let's do the legs let's do the legs so this is going to come up here so we're going to have that one oval a great thick oval now this is going to the, the one thing about this that I need to show you guys is if you draw this box like we did and this is flat this is gonna go back to a vanishing point, which is gonna be down on the flat part here. So if I drew it all the way here, it would be about here. The vanishing point would be about here. So which means your lines are going to have to start to straighten out until it's flat like that. If you went past here, you'd have to start going this way, like that. So that's the same thing here. So. What you're gonna have the same way this was like one was higher than the other, around about your knees, you're gonna go they're gonna be almost even to one another. Almost. Because this is your flat point. So they're all going like this. 
with I'm sorry, I thought that was my phone. <laughs> so you have that, that knee and then you can do this um, triangle here. And I put that point right here on, this, on the ground, <clears throat> on the ground. And I'm gonna make it probably longer because the legs are, are coming out a little too short. Not coming out, they are a little too short. So this has to be as long as this. So for me to lengthen this more than that, that would be wrong. So I'm going to lengthen this. As I say, once if I draw slow, it comes out a little stiff and sometimes wrong. And then a circle and then my triangle. So I will lengthen. <clears throat> Same thing here. too much of a mess. And again, they have to be on the same line. Looking at the monitor, it's still a little short, but when I ink this, I will make my corrections. So, I think we just about got it. So let me, let me, um, there's a, there's a, the leg comes up and dips in here and comes around. So there's like this muscle that is here. We don't, I won't do a lot of leg muscle, but this is kind of like the, one of the main ones that you, you see on a person, on somebody muscular anyway. And then this knee. And then your calf. This one kind of goes in and out quickly, and this one just kind of like tapers on around your inside and your outside. And just like the wrists, I'm gonna cut it off at the ankles so that you can see where the feet will be. You have room for the feet. And then again, the feet are Half a triangle. And you just put a little shape to that to, to shape it up. So now what I want to do is I want to work with this a little bit more, this, this the chest. Instead of having it, it's this eraser. That's the one that's messing up. Come up. I'm going to bring this down a little bit and then then turn it out because it was just too straight across. Now let's bring this arm a little bit more in. Make this bicep a little bigger depending on the size of your guy. I mean you could just have uh, just kind of a smooth arm. You don't have to bulk it out if you're not trying to do a character. My legs here, my hand, and to do a hand, it's just like kind of like this without doing a fist. It's kind of like this. Because somebody said, Can you draw? You ever draw fists when you do people? And uh, yeah, it's just it's a, it's a superhero thing. So you have this little kind of a triangle like that, which is just kind of like this box, and then you cut it up. Is that yeah? Well, this is going to be the other hand, it's going to be the left hand right hand or right hand or left hand for you cut it like that that's what that is and you bring this in a little bit because your wrist is going to be narrow it's going to be like that oh you didn't blur them i think once this camera warms up it doesn't really blur a lot then you're going to put your thumb here i'll just curve it like a banana or a pickle and then my fingers can be just one bend one I like to do two, well, you don't have to do too much. Opening one, two, three. I usually don't put the fourth one there, but that's just an easy way to do open hands. <clears throat> so again, do this thumb. You just play with it till it's right. Curve this. And that finger. I just I don't put all three bends in it, just one bend. Then that second finger behind it. Third finger behind that, like so. 
looking in the monitor. Not too shabby. Now, if you see something wrong with your drawing when you're drawing, stop and walk away. Go look at something else because the eye, you look at something so much, you'll say, oh, that's right, oh, that's looking good, that's looking good, and something could be wrong, but if you just notice that something is wrong, but you just can't put your eye on it, can't put your finger on it, just walk away or turn your picture upside down so you don't see it. Give yourself a little second uh, to clear your eyes and then flip it back over and then you'll see something like, like this is in too much. Just from that second of me not seeing it. And my lats are going to come down because he's there. My lats are going to come down here. And other things you can do is just turn your paper, turn your picture upside down, and that'll give you a different uh, angle on, on um, what you're drawing. But it's best to just walk away, turn your picture upside down and walk away. So this is going to be curved. That's fine. So if you're doing ribs, a lot of people like to do ribs. So that what it's going to do is going to come up here, straight up here, and into this point right there, that center point. So like if you draw a fang like this and you come down just the way I had this, because your lats go right behind, after your ribs stop, your lats start. And you have one, I think it is visible, like four or five are visible. But each one of them gets, you know, a little, little um, smaller where you can see, but it has to stay inside of that fang. If this was your mouth and you had fangs, they're shaped like that. So they're actually shaped like pointy like this. Like that, looking in the camera so you can see what I'm doing. Because the other part of the rib slides along this pointy part like that. But I don't do those because a lot of times it makes the guy look hungry. If I do, you know, the extra ribs that comes down to the stomach. It just To me, it just kind of makes them look hungry. My characters, anyway, I've seen people do it and they look pretty good. But for me, I don't really like that. So let's work with this. This... V. Let's turn this more round. As I say, I like to put a little V at the top of that and then bring it out and then down. Bring it down and then down more. Depends on how much it's like if you suck your stomach in, this will come out more. Your ribs will kind of like this will it'll open up more. And then if you're doing stomach, the same way this whole thing is round, your stomach is round as well. And then I just, I, I bring it in like this. If this is my, this is my little stomach area. It's going to be round. But then because of that center line, I'll bring it in like this. So actually, I'm making a triangle, kind of like a diamond, not a diamond kind of triangle. Black, black pen, black pen. So it's going to be like this. Same thing for this one. And then on these corners, it's going to come up like that. So it's going to be just that half of, half of that diamond. Like that, and even here, like that, and that gives you that. And your belly button is down here somewhere that gives you that um, shape those you get those bricks in your stomach and because this is a curve here you're going to get more darkness right here in this corner and then it goes down the side of there because they're kind of like tucked in in there and then you get this black here here here, and remember on the side, and then you're going to get this open up here, here, and that's a quick way to do abs. But remember, it has to be round. I think a lot of people will try to do it and they make a flat. If I did that again, let's just do a quick one. If I did this again, and then I did this, It just, it's not the same. It's got to be round. Even if I put these, this in here, 
it's still not the same. It's 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 flat. You have to round it off because if, if the if, imagine the uh, imagine the oval, the oval, the yes, the torso. That oval is this ball is round. Forty-seven minutes. What happened to my thirty minutes? It's round. If I put a stripe across here. Thank you. If I put like this stripe here, it's going to be round. It's rounded. Unless I'm looking at it straight on, but it's still rounded in some way. So yeah, just remember to round your, round your abs off. And I am going to ink this after I straighten it out. And I always draw. I draw at an angle. I'm sorry. Some people can just sit there and draw the whole picture without moving their paper. I, I'm not built that way. I have to draw on an angle. Even when I write... I write on an angle. If you go sign for something and they say, oh, put your signature right here and they put the paper straight, I have to turn it this way to write. It's just, it's just the way I'm built. So when I'm coloring and I do a fast motion color, I do a lot of this turning, so you have to forgive that. So, yeah. All right, so we pretty much have it here, the knee. And then when you're doing your leg, just kind of be mindful of where your center line is. So like this knee won't be facing me, it'll be facing out this way a little bit. So that center line of your leg is gonna come like right here. So it means my knee has to be shifted over. So this is gonna be like the center of my knee here. It's gonna come down, this is around, this is that extra part of the knee. So the foot, even the foot would be here. So which means you're gonna see some flat part of that foot and maybe some flat part of this foot as well. Make the foot a little bigger. And I know it's gonna be hard to erase when I start erasing. So you wouldn't really see this rib <clears throat> because he's turned to the side. Sometimes I do this, that bone, this makes it look good. And that's where you get that extra black from. And then at times, if I really draw it powerful, I'll do this here. So it's kind of like this whole piece is an extra muscle there, if I really do. But I said I wasn't going to get into muscles. So this is going to be as far as I go with this. And let me bring this up because his arm is out more. So this is what I say when you turn away. You get to see what you're not doing or what you are doing right. So let's ink this real quick and then we'll call this a day. And I found my bell sound. And when I do editing, I might throw my bell in there to, to signify, signify, signify that class is over. So your head, if I rush the inking, it's going to screw up. But, you know, that's just me. Here I go, when I turn, as I say, when I ink, it's best to just pull your pen. Don't ever push your pen. Don't push your pen to try to circle. If you're doing something, one line, turn your paper, one line, turn your paper, one line, turn your paper. And it makes your inks to come out a little better, a lot better than trying to push your paper up, uh, just hold your paper still. Some people can do it, as I say, it's, that's not me. So when I do fast motion, this is where it gets me. It doesn't get me, I mean, I can draw, but it's just hard for you guys to see that. <sighs> okay, camera, don't mess up now. So we have this, but I'm going to give them just a little more lat. So I'm going to, versus this, give me, a, give me a color. Give me a color. We have this here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring that out just a little bit more to give them more of a muscular lat. Latissimus dorsi. It's going to be here, and it's going to come down, connect to that. Goes down into the waist. So my center line is a little off here. It's going to be right there. So this should be there. Q 
keeping that curve. That, that you have like these two big muscles that go down there at that point or that um, half diamond. Going down, this is on my ribs. Let's do my delt. And as I say, once I start to kind of rush, then all my stuff gets kind of like crazy crooked. But you've seen the pencil, so that's what counts. Uh, a little bit of my, whatever that muscle's called again. So this is my... Collarbone, bicep, tricep, the split, my legs, hopefully my legs are long enough. Now this muscle that comes out on the, on the side of the knee comes all the way down and then it comes right here on the end and it goes right to your ankle. Foot might be a little too small for my superhero, but uh, as I say, it comes out and it goes to that ankle. So you want to curve this in a little bit for that end step and then back out. And it goes up into that foot, this line here, just to show that definition of the muscle. And I think that is going to be it. I don't hear the bell yet, provided I wasn't too lazy to actually put it on there. I want you to make this a little thicker. Give me some um, line weight going, just to make it look a little better for the thumbnail. And what I do is I, anytime I have a circle or outer outer whatever outer circle i'll make that outer circle a little thicker i know it's supposed to be the inside because that's where the shadow is but i always do the outside i'm opposite to make that line look a little better so it goes thick then thick then i guess it should be thicker on the inside as i say because it's more shadow but i'm the opposite so i'll just make this a little thicker to thin to thick to thin, to thick, to thin. Same thing here. Some parts I'll just leave um, the regular pin line. Another pause like his thighs. Give him thick thighs because he is a superhero. Oh, well, he's not a superhero. He just has the superhero body. Again, with the thick thighs, fat right there, thin in at the knee, thick on the curve, thin there. Thick here, thick here, 
definitely thick up under here. Oh, I'll make it thick there. Thin, thick to thin. Thick on that outer curve. Thin, a little thicker here. And then keep the same line for the fingers. Maybe a little thickness here, a little bit right there, but I'm not trying to do inner, inner, inner thickness and outer, just kind of do the outside of the body. Thick here, thick on the shoulders, just the highest part of the shoulders. And then my head, neck, and I always mess up I'm trying to do the top of the head. I don't know why, just maybe I need to turn it. It's never round like I want it to be. And just because, let's just do under the chin because that would be where a lot of shadow is coming from. Under the chest, now I'm starting to add shadow and shade under the chest. And let's blacken the stomach. Just because I can. Thick right there to thin, a little thick to thin, thick to thin, thick to thin, thick to thin. And by gosh, by golly, I think we got it. So let me erase some of these pencil lines, making sure I'm not erasing some of the, something that I really need. Take that off. Take the cover off. it's always so dirty using a mechanical pencil but it's in arm's reach and I know it's dark enough for you guys to see so there you have it let me do this foot is this the right one or is this the wrong one whenever you erase it's kind of like I don't really like erasing because I always miss something and if I have to do it twice, to me, it doesn't come out as nice as it was the first time. So let me put a ground right here. He's standing on the ground. There's my heel. My heel is going to be about right there. So you got to be standing on something out of here with that so there you have it minus the red that won't come out that's not really but the thing is about the red pencil and the blue pencil is when you photocopy it if you're doing comics when you photocopy it it won't photocopy unless you copy it on um, color but if you're doing black and white, unless it's just really, really, really messy, messy, it, you won't, you won't, it won't photocopy. So what little bit does, you can get that done in Photoshop, provided you have Photoshop. But if you're drawing for yourself and you're using red, just draw really light. So that's going to be it for drawing your, what did I say when I first started this? Drawing your body, simple body. I started getting into the muscles. I wasn't trying to really get into the muscles, but in this leg, looking at it, this leg could be a little longer. Yes, I'm critiquing myself because it's kind of like he's stepping back and stepping forward. But hey, you know, you got the gist and that's what counted me teaching you what to do for your doings. I'm going to ramble. So here's the bell. Time for class to be dismissed. I'll see you guys. Thanks for checking it out. Uh, if you leave a thumbs up, leave a, a like. Um, yeah, you don't have to do a comment, but if you want to do a comment, do a comment. And I will see you guys in the next video. I'm out.